to use generic hockey vernacular, NHL 23 rebounds and scores. Now, this is the first major push forward for this series since the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 debuted in 2014. Now, it's overdue, but it's good to finally see. It's the little thing sometimes, and enhanced graphics and audio in NHL 23 bring a notable freshness, as does catching up to the rest of the EA Sports Pack by adding full IIHF women's teams. Not everything receives the same makeover, but where the developers put their focus pays off. Now, unlike last year, NHL 23 actually makes use of the hardware power provided by the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, and ice looks like ice. Now, that doesn't sound extravagant, yet seeing an overhead scoreboard reflect on the playing surface during a period's opening moments is gorgeous. As skates tear up the surface, leaving behind new, almost convincing ice piles along the boards, reflections accurately fade. Now, pre-game, certain teams have custom light shows as their players skate out. Now, it looks impeccable. Now, you have to really appreciate details like the glow sticks in the crowd. Now, this translates to players too. They're meticulously defined down to accurate freckles, precise jersey stitchings, and visors gleaming in the light. At a distance, NHL 23 looks like an actual broadcast, completely and totally, except for the occasional unnaturally fast transition animation. Revamps on the audio side make strides too, creating one of the most authentic in-arena soundscapes in sports gaming. Puts it on more than varied cheers and boos, there are intensities like the crowd's volume rapidly rising during a tense face-off or giving up, even booing when down by an insurmountable goal count. Home teams have individualized chants to push them on, all newly recorded. Gets the puck in deep. The Blackhawks gain possession. Now that sounds typical on paper, but in execution, the authenticity is unreal. Commentary remains the same, however, which means the two gamified X Factor chat returns from last year, but those are the only breaks from NHL 23's sublime audiovisual reality. Now, this year's addition adds flashy new drama to the rink in the form of a slew of desperation plays, like diving for a loose puck in front of the net that would be otherwise unreachable. Now, the same goes for the defense trying to sweep the puck out of their zone, balancing the fun and strategy. All all these take to execute is a double tap on the pass button or quick double swipe on the analog stick, which is an almost natural reaction when you're in the moment near the net. Other controls remain as is, including the elegant stick handling, fluid deeks, and satisfying slap shots are performed with the right thumbstick. As has become the norm for EA Sports games, star players come with X-Factors, and they received tuning updates and a few fresh abilities in the mix this year. But amid hockey's frantic pace, their viability rarely seems obvious. They remain a passive feature that only occasionally come into play, like special deeks. Sarah Nurse's X-Factor, as an example, increases her shot and passing accuracy after taking a hit, but to what actual effect or amount isn't clear. The color commentary thinks this makes a difference though, but those snippets sound more like marketing than actual information. In a nice postseason touch, winning teams can take part in an interactive Stanley Cup celebration. It's neat to have the cup in hand, passing it around to others and see the names inscribed onto the trophy. Sure, it's not all that meaningful because choosing who hoists the cup is nothing more than a bland menu selection, which doesn't do much to add drama. But it's a good idea, and it's easy to imagine EA building this into something really fun in a future game. Drilling down into the other modes, it's clear that if you're a fan of the single player, be a pro mode, or especially like some of the side stuff like NHL 3s and 1 on 1, NHL 23 isn't worth buying unless updated rosters mean that much to you. Aside from the visual boosts and new on ice moves that apply, be a pro mode is untouched. The single player career rolls out exactly like NHL 22, from the cinematics to the storyline. To be clear, it's the exact same. All of it. It would seem that rather than focus there, EA delved into revamping the franchise mode. It's not a total do-over, but the smartly redone setup phase can radically alter how seasons progress. Entire divisions can be reordered, the number of teams optionally range from 6 to 48, allowing international teams into the mix. Now, playoff terms bounce between how many teams make the cut and how standings are structured. It's now possible to 
run a franchise with the original six teams, but that's robbed of some of its novelty because of a case of unlucky timing. NBA 2K23 just added a similar idea when it was released last month, and that game also offers the actual players from those legacy teams. NHL 23, meanwhile, does let fantasy rosters into the mix just with contemporary stars only. Gordy Howe will not be joining the action, sadly. In the microtransaction-based Ultimate Team, EA's clearly profitable card trading team building mode, women from IIHF teams make their first appearance. Now That's the right move to go along with Canada's Sarah Nurse co-cover star debut. Now, it's worth noting that those playing Legacy Editions of NHL 23 on Xbox One or PlayStation 4 can migrate their HUT team over to a new console when slash if they upgrade to the Series X or PS5. Now, that's a rarity in these annual real-world dollar-based modes. As an additional bonus, online play in HUT offers cross-platform play between Xbox Series X, PS5, or Xbox One PS4 players. It's not a total integration, though. This is all limited to versus, no co-op, and only applies to HUT and World of Shell competition but it's hopefully a sign of a full multi-platform future going forward. Still, it's Ultimate Team predatory in its execution to keep us all purchasing and digging through packs to find the best players who remain artificially rare by design. NHL 23 and other EA Sports games would be better off without it. It's overdue, but NHL 23 finally looks and feels like it belongs on these beefier new generation consoles. The visual tech upgrade adds stellar reality to the on-ice play, which also benefits from players who are willing to dive for the puck to make a desperate goal or save. Now, it gains new energy from crowds reacting to the action like real crowds would, bringing a definitive audio design that's best in class for stadium effects. Franchise mode customization greatly expands, and seeing women in the fold for the first time feels right and also overdue. At the same time, there are several modes that are outright ignored, including the completely recycled Be A Pro single player campaign and its microtransaction driven ultimate team mode comes with the usual caveats about its predatory profit driven nature. For more, check out our reviews of FIFA 23 and Madden NFL 23. And for everything else, stick with IGN. Grabbed along the boards by Peterson. Easy peasy right there. Stop!